I started Irish potato farming in 2016 and I started it on a small scale, planting one bag of seeds and it later grew with time up to growing uh, 80 bags of seeds. And I'm now doing it as a commercial business on a bigger piece of land, 20 to 30 acres. The most challenge has been finances. You find you need better chemicals in case of pests and some diseases that attack Irish potatoes. But the money is not there, like you cannot find the money to invest in it and you end up getting less products. One, I've tried to do more research about Irish potatoes so that I know what disease affects them and how I can prevent it before. And then I've also tried to, to make sure I get better seeds, first grade seeds or second grade seeds. The areas don't get attacked by, by diseases and pests. I would like help in finances to buy better seeds. There are those studded seeds that are on market now and they don't take long to, to grow. So if I can have enough finances to do that, the better. I'm looking at training other youths or women groups and men groups that are interested and demonstrate for them. If possible, I put a demonstration garden somewhere then they can always learn from it and then they go and do Irish farming and those interested in other things like cabbage, like sweet potatoes, cassava, bees and all those other things that yield in short time, then they can also pick interest and go and do it. The message I have for the youth out there is that they should not sit and wait for white collar jobs. Let them venture into agriculture. Yes, sometimes it can be a bad season for someone and they even lose what they have invested in, but you shouldn't easily give up. You give it another try and maybe some other time you make more profits. <music>